I, I think that uh, our kids had a great Thursday. And um, the other days were pretty solid too, but I really thought we were, we were sharp today. One of the sharper Thursdays we've had. I hope that's a good sign for uh, Saturday. Uh, I think they took us a little while to get out of the, the, the funk of uh, losing um, a game that we felt like we could have won. But I think they're out of it and uh, understand in order to, to beat a team like Virginia Tech, you've got to strain to win for 60 minutes. And um, I expect us to play well. Coach Aldridge brought up Monday that the news from Virginia got out after the end of the team meeting. Have you guys, in the team meeting today, did you have a chance to address that with them? And have yeah, I didn't wait uh, until today. We had a we normally don't have a team meeting on Tuesday, but I called one uh, to address it, and um, you know, obviously, just um, heartbroken for the Virginia family and their staff and their players and their their campus, the, the entire Virginia family. I can't imagine. You know, it's just that's something that you never prepare. For. You you can't be prepared for that, and that's got to be challenging and. Um, so I just share with our players the truth of it and how, man, life is short and fleeting and, man, let's love each other well and, um, and try to help those that are hurting get through the hurting times. And so, um, you know, we're going to honor them with all blue on uh, Saturday and I think there's a few events planned prior to kickoff. And um, so, you know, our hearts and prayers are, are, are with the Virginia family. Fine. You know, I think, uh, you know, again, I thought TJ played well the first 20 snaps. I just think 58 was too many for him. So um, he and Shadro splitting them hopefully will uh, be beneficial to us. Did, did it seem Shadro was in a better space after having Yeah, I thought he was good. I thought he was good all week and um, excited to play. So I'm excited to have him back. You mentioned Monday you wanted to see a spark out of the quarterbacks this week. Have, have you been able to see that this week? Well, they've competed. And, um, you know, we'll see what, what Saturday brings. I'm willing to play any of them, um, you know. But uh, I, I thought they competed well and handled it well and handled the truth well. And it's been fun to watch them compete. How do you think the team has responded coming off, you know, your first loss in two months, basically? Um, again, I thought it was a little, little sluggish Monday. But as the week went on, I thought we handled the truth well and picked it up and are preparing again. And you you got to put games in the trash, win or lose, good or bad. Um, that's the facts, unless you want that game to beat you twice. And I think our, our team's done that. Do you worry at all about any type of you know, mental letdowns you're going to need the last two weeks of the season? Always. I think it's a mental grind, college football, the, the length of the season. and. The grind to do it over and over and over and over again tests you mentally, and um, I always worry about that because it's easy to check out. And I think people do that in general in life, in jobs, and when issues arise and it gets really tough, you know, it's the ones who know they've sacrificed a lot for something that are are the last to 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 give in and give up. And um, you know, hopefully we've got enough of that mindset on our team that uh, the the mental grind of of a long season um, doesn't cause them to to drain in their preparation and their execution and their effort and all of that come Saturday. You had some leaders on this team from Virginia, Javon Struggs, one of the first that to mind. Have they made sure the team's ready for a game against an SEC team and the pride it is? And yeah, I don't know. I don't get into all that. I just think that's – I'm not sure that's the motivation you need to go out and execute. I've never really bought into the let's find something to, to try to externally motivate us. Yeah, I mean, it it is an in-state uh, team, but um, you don't prepare any different and you certainly shouldn't play with any less effort. And, um, you know, I th it would probably mean more to some of these Virginia kids, but – you know, if I try to use that from with a kid from California or Mississippi, I'm not sure that I'm not sure that's the right way to try to get our team to prepare. So I don't really get into all of that. Are you excited about hopefully having another you know, large crowd? I am that. I, I hope our students will stay around. We need them. We need uh, William Statham to be like it's been for every home game this this year. It's been really really helpful, and obviously our record's pretty dang good at home. 
and it'd be nice to have another great crowd there to help us uh, hopefully win number nine. Yeah, you said that you don't usually look for a trade off in Um, you know, uh, it's hard to say that, you know, for our kids to, to play for a tragedy, I, I think what they should look at it as, our hearts and minds are certainly with the Virginia family. And what it should make us do, in my opinion, is realize how lucky and blessed we are and maybe play a little extra out of love for one another and for the Virginia family for sure. But um, I just hope it makes us really – set back at the end of the day and say, man, am I making the most of the days that I have? And uh, that's what I hope they get out of it more than anything. Have you been in touch with uh, Virginia Tech about their scientific support that will be coming to you? Uh, our administration handled all of that. And uh, they, our administration, you know, obviously called me, and I'm on board with whatever the two administrations want to agree to do. Nick, you want to take us through some online questions? I'm not seeing any at the moment. Ed, Jermaine, do you guys have anything? I do not. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Actually, I, I did. Oh. <laughs> All right. This takes Jermaine a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slow enough to say. So, yo, Coach, obviously for you, I mean, these, these, you've been in a lot of these big time games. How much fun is it for you to just be a part of these games? I mean, you've had a bunch of these games come down your way since you've been at Liberty, but how much fun is it to be a part of these games? Oh, they're fun if you win them. You know, at the, at the end, you enjoy them a lot more. But, um, yeah, I, I love competing. I, I like competing and, you know, obviously being tested. And when you're playing Power 5 teams like uh, Wake Forest, BYU, Arkansas, and Virginia Tech, you're going to get tested. Not that we haven't in the other games also. So, um, we'll be tested, and, and that'll be fun to compete. And hopefully, at the end of the day, we uh, we come out on the on the right end of it, and it'll be a lot more fun. Thanks so much, sir. Appreciate you, Coach. One last thing: with Ahmad being out the first half, who got reps at linebacker this week? A plethora. Um, a kill. Kill kind of depends on what personnel they're in as to whether or not he's going to be in, in the in the linebacker position or on, you know, in the defensive front. Um, Tyron had to get a lot of reps. Jordan Norwood got a lot of reps. And Jolly got more reps. So we'll try to piece it together in the first half. And obviously Mike Smith is still questionable, but I, he is better today. And he's going to try to play, I think. So we'll see how that goes too.